Good morning guys and welcome to Colombia. Over the next four days I'm going to be exploring the Colombian Amazon. I didn't even really know that you could get to the Amazon from here, but you can. We've just flown down to Leticia for about $25 from Medellin and from here we can explore the Amazon and go along the Amazon River. But first I want to show you something pretty cool. Right now, because of where Leticia is, Brazil is a few yards that way and Peru is a few yards that way. So I can just walk straight over to Brazil. Like, literally, I'm pretty much in Brazil. <laughs> and then <laughs> just down that road is Peru. That's pretty cool. Uh, but now, let's go see the Amazon. So yeah, we got Matisha and Colombia. That's Brazil. This way to Peru. This is cool. We're heading to the boat now and we just found this walkway. Yeah, we've got to walk and find where we're starting from. But there's this big walkway built next to all of the local houses. Very interesting to see. You see they're all built on stilts just for when the flooded season comes in. Okay, and this is where we're going for the public boat. Yeah, that's bubbly. Alright, we just found our guy. We arranged this whole thing online, by the way. It was a, a four day, three night river trip with like hotels and cabins each night for $200. So I'm completely unsponsored, by the way. But if anyone's interested, I'll put the link for that in the description below. It looked like pretty good value. And I've got no idea really what to expect, but it should be cool. Bit of madness to get on, very much hurry up and wait, but we got on and now we're heading down the river. Out. After an intense journey, it wasn't intense, it was in a boat, but after a long journey, we are here. It took about two and a half hours. We just arrived to a place called Porto Narino. We're gonna be staying here for the next couple of days while we explore the area. Okay, so later on in this video, we were lucky enough to see real macaws, sloths, monkeys, and even pink dolphins. One thing we didn't see though was sharks, surf sharks. And that's why I'm gonna tell you about them now instead. Stick with me. <laughs> Surfshark is a VPN, i.e. a virtual private network that encrypts your online information to keep it safe and allows you to mask your location to appear as if your device is from anywhere in the world. Now, why would you want to do this? Well, personally, I use VPNs all the time and most people I know that travel continuously do as well. It can keep your information safe by encrypting it as soon as you upload it, which prevents people from stealing your data if you're using a public network. You could use it to find cheaper flights and cheaper accommodation by searching from a different location. Certain websites will charge you based on where you're searching from and that's a way of getting around that. But the way I personally use it is when I'm not in the Amazon with literally zero Wi-Fi, I like to chill in between trips and watch some Netflix or watch some iPlayer and the only way to get BBC iPlayer outside of the UK is by using a VPN to appear as if you're from the UK. And the same with Netflix, if you use a VPN, then you get different shows to what you would get in your home country. If you're interested in checking out, then click the link in the description below and use the code JORD for 83% off, plus an extra three months for free. Now back to the Amazon. This is our little cabin. And um, we've got the family room here, but not bad. It's really rustic, but I think everything is here and this is really cool because you can hear all the jungle around you. We're only just dumping our stuff now because we're about to head straight out and go on a night tour. It should be cool. Let's go see what we can find. So we're heading out into the jungle now with our guide, who is from the Airu Maikuchi group, 
which I've just been told they are hunters around here that live off of the land in the Amazon. <laughs> just as we come out, now the rain begins. Oh, you're in a rain for us because hopefully we'll still get to see some cool things. Okay, it came down a bit, so we're actually taking refuge for a second where our guy lives. <laughs> so this is a little house in the jungle. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> 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 he's found a tarantula. You can see that. Oh, okay, he's gone. <laughs> How does he see them all? Oh! Oh my god, it's huge. Oh, cool. Never mind, then it's sticking a minute. Stick insect just munching down. <laughs> We are properly in the jungle now. We're actually, oh, can't see where I'm going at all now, so I'm going to stop. Um, we're actually out here for two hours. It's already pitch black and we've got a two hour trek and we're just looking for tarantulas, bugs, insects, anything we can find. Very cool. Can I get them out? You go ahead. <laughs> so apparently the tarantulas are like cats. Uh. <laughs> Come out if you, oh, there you go. <laughs> You can really feel it on the end of it though. Let go. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I thought that would happen. I was like, oh my god, he's going to climb off that script. I know, it's wrong. It's a very painful bite apparently. So our guides go right up to it. <laughs> Wellies were definitely necessary. Off the road. Oh, <laughs> not dangerous. <laughs> Me too. Don't worry. Okay, and we are done for tonight. We just had a really good dinner after a really cool but really difficult hike. <laughs> it was about three hours through the jungle and it was all slippy and dark but really cool because of everything we saw. Now we're going to get some rest because in the morning we're going out on a boat for another hike and I'm just going to jump straight to that. So see you in a sec. <laughs> All right, good morning guys. We just got off the boat and we have just landed in Peru. There's no real border here, so we can just literally get the boat across and freely explore Peru now. We're gonna be spending the whole morning here into the afternoon, hiking around and checking out whatever is here to see. But technically, I'm in Peru. So one interesting side note, I just asked because, I mean, these borders would be very difficult to enforce. You can cross quite freely between Peru and Brazil and Colombia here. So I asked, like, did they try and enforce it in the pandemic in the early days of the lockdown? And they said, I mean, they tried to at the beginning, but just gave up because everyone and all the indigenous communities have families and friends and jobs that span all those borders. So it was kind of impossible to stop people crossing. And in the end, they just let everyone in this area just go between because the old ancestral borders would be completely different to the borders we have now. If you can see here where this watermark is, right there, that's how high the rain gets in a few months time. So right now it's at the beginning of the flooded season and in a few months the water will be up to that point. So although the Peruvians are farming a lot here and we just walk past some papaya trees and other things, they're in kind of a rush to use that little gap they can to farm, get everything down before the flooded season comes and washes everything away. But it's interesting because like you can come here I think in the dry season or the dryish season and the flooded season and see completely two different sides of the Amazon. And he says um, that our guide just said that you come back here in a couple of months and they'll be doing a boat through this area that we're walking on. We've just entered a local village here and we've got a local guide to show us around. So 
Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how the Peruvian side lives. <laughs> okay, well, Claire's found no. the puppies. Hello, guys. <laughs> oh, you're very mucky. Tiny. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. I stopped climbing just here. Uh... Pretty perfect ending there. We just found a whole family of sloths and the guides, the local guide told me to get the drone up to try and see it. So I did and we got that really cool shot. Apparently it doesn't disturb them. Now we're finished in Peru. So I can say that I've been to Peru. Very cool morning. And now we're heading back over to Colombia to get lunch. It's cool to be able to say that. Just popping back to Colombia for lunch. We're now about to head out to Lake Tarapoto. It's um, a little bit along this river and then we're gonna be staying there tonight as well. So hopefully we're gonna see some things on the way. We should be able to see some dolphins, maybe some of the Araprima pirarucus, and apparently swim in the lake too. Should be cool. We've got our, our man hey. here. <laughs> nice to meet you. And um, yeah, let's, let's do this. We're just getting some gasoline now. Uh, it seems like we've found dolphins. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, no. Yeah, there is one there as well. There he is. <laughs> no, I think I just got the end of it. <laughs> okay, I stupidly don't have a lot of battery for this. <laughs> All I can tell you is right now we're surrounded by pink dolphins. I'm going to try and conserve it because it's really hard to get dolphins on video anyway. But we're in the middle of of this little lake here and there's loads of pink dolphins around us. We've also got the chance to jump in now, so we're right in the middle of the lake. There's caimans here, there's dolphins, there's also some piranhas, but apparently not the bitey type. So <laughs> we're gonna go jump in. <laughs> Just fall, fall gracefully. Yeah, <laughs> yeah oh, kid. <laughs> it's really warm, it's quite nice. Alright, I'm not going in. Oh. Oh, you got dolphins? Yeah. Nice. There you go. Oh, look, you see him? He's literally right there. Okay, well, I'm not going to go in with my camera, but I'm going to get in. Whoa! <laughs> it's, not, it's not steady. I'm sure you're not going to go in with your camera. <laughs> 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 We're back in, but it's not easy. <laughs> we just jumped off the boat to the Lake Tarapoto Indigenous Community. I think you said it was called. Santa Clara. That's also where our guide grew up. He just met his little daughter at the dock. Yeah, we're gonna have a little look around here before we go to where we're staying. Huh? Hello. Hello. <laughs> to Gusta? <laughs> you want to see that? She just found my um, dead cat microphone on top and likes it. Wants to play with it. <laughs> uh, we just pulled up to this indigenous community here on Lake Terrapoto. It's called Santa Clara after swimming in the Amazon, which is pretty damn cool. And something I didn't think I'd get to do on this trip. But yeah, completely safe apparently. And now you can see some guys playing football behind me. <laughs> Put it in the mixer. Get oh, good hands. Watch your touch. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Reminds me of Sunday League. <laughs> wow, we 
just arrived to our cabin where we're sleeping tonight and we're greeted by loads of dolphins in front of us. We've just been sat here with a beer watching dolphin, dolphins from the shore and now we're getting the sunset. This is the perfect end to a great day. We've still got to jump back on the boat and go for dinner but I'm going to finish this here and just enjoy tonight in this cabin sleeping next to the Amazon River. For now, thank you for watching and see you in the next one.